My name is David Andre and here is how to get a job in AI. The typical level 5 engineer at OpenAI makes about $925,000 in total compensation. And yes, there are a lot of people at OpenAI that make a lot more than that. AI is the fastest growing industry. There is global demand for AI positions. It's future proof, there are insanely high salaries and you're on the cutting edge of technology. 14 months ago, I dropped everything I was doing and entered the AI field. I'm gonna compress thousands of hours of research into this one video, so make sure to watch until the end. We'll look at nine different jobs, progressively increasing in salary and what it takes to get that job starting with a no-code developer. The salary here is quite modest, between 60 and 135,000. You build AI chatbots as a no-code developer using tools like Voiceflow, Bubble, or Make.com. There is a low barrier to entry because you don't have to learn programming. Because of that, the salaries are nowhere near as high as the jobs later down the list. Now, what it takes to become a great no-code developer? You have to have the ability to quickly implement AI into any business or workflow. You need decent prompt engineering skills, and you need to be good at marketing and sales aka you need to get clients consistently. Now, it takes a couple of months to become a no-code dev, but years to get actually good. You have to master the tool you're using. Next job is a prompt engineer. This one is becoming very popular in the recent years. The salary range is a bit better here, between 70,000 and 190,000. And these numbers are based on job listings available online. Prompt engineers write instructions, also known as prompts, that guide AI models to generate desired outputs. And they can be testing, you know, different... Um, vulnerabilities or you know, just like discovering new prompting techniques. A big part of the job is constantly testing and improving prompts to get the most from the AI models. Now, what does it take to be a great prompt engineer? You need strong language skills. You have to be great at writing and have an extensive vocabulary. You need mastery of different prompting techniques such as zero shot, chain of thought, reflection, and so on. The low level positions with just, you know, you can get with just like six months of prompting, but high level positions at top research labs, three plus years. Now here is why there is such a difference in salaries in AI. The number one key is experience in the AI field. That's the number one factor between people like who are earning 50k a year or 500k. It's usually experience in the field. And the second most important factor is how difficult of a problem you are solving. If the more people can solve it, the lower the pay will be. Everybody can flip burgers, that's why the pay at McDonald's or Burger King is horrible. But nobody can run Tesla or SpaceX, that's why Elon makes the money he can. Now, if you think the jobs we've looked at so far had impressive salaries, just wait until you see what's coming. Now, here is the fastest way to climb the AI income ladder. You need to be in a place where you can both upskill yourself and get job opportunities at the same time, which is exactly why I created my community. Inside, you get direct access to myself in the form of free weekly calls in the calendar, access to over 500 others, people at the cutting edge of AI, new job listings every month. In fact, in the last 30 days, I think like three or four different people were hiring, including myself. Of course, trainings and workshops in the classroom on how to prepare for AGI, how to be a prompt engineer. Basically, there's everything you need to secure a job in the AI industry. So if you are serious about AI and you don't want to miss out on the AI revolution because the AI revolution only comes once, make sure to join. It's the first link in the description. The next job we're gonna look at is an AI agent developer. The salary here is much better, between 80,000 and 250,000. AI agent developer creates and optimizes AI agents for companies to automate parts of their workflow. You work with frameworks such as Crew AI, Autogen, or OpenAI assistants to build agents. Now, what does it take to actually make this money? You need to understand the basics of Python and programming. There's no two ways around it. The more you know, the better. Now, of course, you can learn the basics in 10 hours, 20 hours, but if you get to like 200, 300 hours, that's when you really start to see the benefits. You also need to know how to design and deploy AI agents using the popular agent frameworks. By the way, we, <laughs> this is exactly what I teach in the community. You also need deep understanding of the task you're trying to automate, because if you don't know how to do the task well, well, good luck trying to automate it. Now, becoming an AI agent developer could take anywhere from six months to be, you know, a beginner to five plus years to really start to make the real salary. Now, robotics engineer, this one is interesting because the other ones were focused on software. This one is focused on hardware. The salaries here vary a lot, between 85,000 and 330,000 if you work at like Boston Dynamics, for example, or Tesla. Robotics engineers develop and assemble the physical parts of robots and connect them with the software and sensors. 
Now, I think the salaries for these positions will increase insanely, even faster than the other ones, because the demand for humanoid robots will explode. Once there is a humanoid robot that everybody can afford, the salaries for robotics engineers will go through the roof. I mean, my prediction, and this is, I think, pretty safe, is that it will, the salaries here will double over the next five years. Now, what does it take? You need an advanced degree here. There's, you know, really no, no shortcut. Either master's or PhD in robotics engineering, mechanical engineering, or a related field. You need mastery of mechanical design and CAD, which is computer-aided design. And, of course, strong understanding of electrical engineering and circuit design. AI consultant. This is a super requested job. A lot of people actually want to, you know, enter the field of AI consulting. The salaries here have a super high uh, variance, very big differences, right? Between 110,000 on the low end and 400,000 on the high end. As a consultant, you advise businesses on how to leverage AI or machine learning to improve efficiency and revenue. In this position, how much you make depends heavily, like heavily on how competent you are and how credible your advice is. Because like everybody can be AI consultant, but if you have no credibility, nobody will pay you. What does it take? You have to have the ability to translate complex AI concepts into actionable business strategies. Because nobody cares if you implement this framework, that framework, you know, you use reinforcement learning. If you are pitching it to a CEO of a company, they care about increasing the bottom line, increasing profits. If you do consulting for regular companies, you know, on the lower end, you don't need to have a PhD. You just need to know more than the employees and management, which makes it good to enter and improve yourself upskill over time. Now, domain expertise is the secret to success as a consultant. Really applies to any consultant, but especially in AI. And what that means is going super deep on one niche, or maybe one or two that are related, and knowing everything about it. You should know more about it than the people running that company. As I said, it's easy to be a low-level consultant, like you can do it in six months, but you'll need seven or more years to make the real money with $400,000 or more. Now, here is a quick giveaway I'm, go I'm doing to win $100. Step one, go to my Instagram, which is linked below. Step two, like and comment on the free latest post. And in three days, I'll choose the winner on my Instagram story. Uh, the payment will be via PayPal. So if you want to win $100, do these two steps. It takes like one minute. Next job is an AI product manager. The average salary here is 210,000 based on the active online listings. I couldn't really find a range here. Leads, AI product manager leads the development and launch of AI products and services, such as the tools me and you are using on every single day. AI product manager makes AI tools and products simpler and easier to use for people that are, you know, the users. He thinks of new design options, new features and problems users have. Really, the key is trying to put yourself in the user's uh, shoes and talking to customers as much as possible. And what does it take to make this money? You need proficiency in UI and UX design, which is user interface or user experience. You need excellent project management skills and experience leading product development cycles. Also, great communication skills and people skills, because you will be leading teams of AI engineers and at least five years of experience in some of the more junior roles. I mean, nobody is gonna pay you 200K a year if you don't have um, experience doing some of the you know, lower stuff, junior roles. Now, machine learning engineer, here is where things get fun. The salaries here are getting, you know, now, like now, now we're talking, at the lower end, you could see like 300,000, and this is seriously the lower end for machine learning engineers. On the higher end, it's like 800K or more. As a machine learning engineer, you design, train, and optimize large language models, LLMs, or other AI models, really. And you make them perform well on various tasks. You also analyze AI models to improve performance, accuracy, interpretability, that way you know what the model is actually doing, speed, inference usually, and scalability. What does it take to make this solid salary? Obviously, you need a master's or PhD in computer science, machine learning, or both, ideally. Now, you could, in theory, become a self-taught machine learning engineer. You just have to prove that you're competent in a different way, right? So if you have a PhD, that proves you're actually competent. If you don't have this um, degree, 
we need to prove it in a different way, such as publishing papers that get a lot of, oh yeah, citations, I forgot the word, citations. Or do you just win coding competitions or machine learning competitions, stuff like that. Basically, you have to prove that you can do the job even without a degree. Now, being good at math here is absolutely required. You need understanding of statistics, probability, linear algebra, and calculus just to get started. Obviously, five plus years to get here, I mean, just doing a PhD takes like six years. More like, you know, to get the good salaries, you need like eight years. Now, chief AI officer, this is a relatively new role and it's surprising because uh, it's one of the highest paid roles. Salary, half a million or plus, easily. What the, because this is a, you know, C-suite executive. It's like so you have a CEO, CTO, CFO, and CAIO. A lot of people are actually confused by this. Uh, shortcut, but it's super simple. Chief AI officer. Simple. Now, CAIO executes the company's AI strategy, making sure it aligns with the main business objective, which obviously is different from company to company. You also manage AI talent, attracting and retaining world-class researchers. And this is way more important than you think. I mean, this is the, by far the thing that research labs and AI companies fight over the most. It's the talent, it's the people, like this is what matters. So a great CAIO needs to attract and retain, keep the people at the company. What does it take to make half a million dollars or more? Well, at least 10 years in the field, great management and leadership skills. Also, this is like two different groups, right? So this is like one group, management and leadership. And the second group of skills is world-class judgment and decision-making, ideally as good as the CEO. You also need a strong technical proficiency in AI, machine learning, data science, and programming, because if you don't have this, you're not going to be able to make great decisions without knowing, being at least competent, like competitive with the average uh, engineers on your team. Obviously, you want to have some engineers and researchers that are better than you, but you have to be like able to keep up with what they're doing. You also need excellent ability to communicate complex AI concepts, there's a lot of those in AI, to non-technical stakeholders, such as shareholders, maybe the CEO if it's not technical, you know, and other people, maybe the public, the press, just people who are not deep in the AI field, you have to take something super complicated and be able to communicate it. Now, here we get to the top position, the most paid role on this list, world-class AI researcher. The salaries here are just insane, right? Between $1 million a year to $10 or more million dollars a year. And as you can see on the image, this is really attained by people like Andrei Kropafi or Ilya Satskar, just the best of the best, the cream of the crop or whatever the saying is. <laughs> just, you know, only like the top 1% of the 1% of AI researchers. And as you can see by this article, OpenAI pays their AI researchers up to $10 million a year. And Google, at Google, they've been earning up to $5 million a year annually. So these numbers are actually crazy. Now, again, as I said, this is only attainable by the greatest individuals in the AI field, the pioneers and innovators. You have to be able to lead cutting-edge research projects to advance the state of AI, getting us closer to AGI. And usually, most of the time, you're basically doing something that might not even be possible, or nobody knows whether it's possible or not. And you have to believe in it based on your intuition and your experience. And what does it take to get to this level, right? At least 20,000 hours in machine learning, minimum, more like 30,000, honestly. 15 plus years in the AI field, genius level IQ, on top of incredible work ethic and creativity. You also need to have a proven track record of publishing influential research papers with like tens of thousands of citations. Also, mastery of mathematics and programming, especially languages used in AI research, such as Python, R, and C++. So, if you found this video valuable, and if you want to learn more about AI and how to work in the AI field, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.